Hello, my makeup loving friends. How's it going? Welcome back. It's another week of new makeup releases and you know the drill. I have the gorgeous, fabulous Tia. Here is eye candy because I look up like I have been dragged backwards through a ditch. But I haven't, friends. I was just out uh, changing a flat tire because that's my life. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So, so glamorous uh but you know the drill lads there will be no episode without you guys tagging me but i gotta say it has been a very quiet week but a massive thank you to all of you who have tagged me your names are displayed right now but let's get into it this first one i wasn't wildly surprised to see this from nomad cosmetics like of all of the brands that could have done this it kind of makes sense this is their nomad air collection it's available right now you can get the total collection for 79 dollars, but it's apparently worth 125 dollars. they have an eye shadow palette which is called their travel palette for $22. There's a lip salve which they said is a multi-purpose healing balm for $12. There's the face mist for $22 and the face cream for $49 but if you get the full bundle you get a nomad air tote which is apparently worth $20 but you can't buy it separately. I was just saying the other day how it was kind of funny that with nomad cosmetics it seems that all they really have on their site is like eyeshadow palettes and I think a few highlighters so they really needed to diversify their current collection like their range of products and I think this yeah. in a way makes sense I think it's it's unusual that they've gone to skincare I think it would have made more sense to go for more cosmetics than kind of skincare bits but the fact that they've kind of said that this is like essentially stuff to travel with I get that I 100% get that that's their whole like image that's their I guess ethos if we're going to say it yeah. but I was I was genuinely surprised to see skincare so we might as well talk about the palette first it's a six pound palette it's $22 so it's working out at about $3.67 per shade the shades themselves I mean they're pretty safe let's be real I actually think this makes sense as a travel palette because if you're yeah, traveling you're right. probably not going to bring like colourful colourful stuff with you and it's a good mix of mattes and shimmers yeah like I'm not mad about it but I'm not like oh my god I need this palette yeah I think this is very dependent upon like specific consumers like maybe if I was like a jet setter and like constantly travelling I'd be like yeah great this is perfect perfect for what I need I think the color story is actually quite nice very pretty but I have these sort of colors already like across several palettes so I wouldn't yeah. personally need it I kind of appreciate that <laughs> it's quite funny because they've called themselves Nomad Air and it just makes me think of Pan Am the 1960s airlines from America because they had like blue and white logos and it just reminds me so yeah. much of all of their stuff and when you used to get on a Pan Am flight they give you like this kit of stuff with like razors and brushes and all of these things I know this because my mum's cousin so that's my second cousin worked for Pan Am and she still has all of the stuff that they used to give to uh, passengers so like some of this is like very similar like even down to to the packaging but the the palette itself it's fine makes sense but it, it's not for me like when they were sneak peeking this like the skincare and nomad air and I was like so confused I was like what's going on and then I was like are they like doing like a collab with an airline so when you get like you know those bougie airlines where you get like your like face screens and like all that stuff in a kit and I thought this was for that first because I was like why is it nomad air like are they doing an airline what's going on but when you explained it when you were introducing this it kind of makes sense yeah well it's like not the most exciting launch but like it's nice to see them do something different yeah all I can think of is if they had <laughs> if they collaborated with the likes of Ryanair <laughs> <laughs> what would that be it would just be an empty palette to just go and fucking buy your own things <laughs> assemble it yourself <laughs> oh, the or then the product okay. would be like mini 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 like you could barely get one use out of it like samples there was a point where Ryanair <laughs> you were flying with them um, all the ages ago you couldn't get um like little mini drinks bottles you know like vodka or whatever yeah. <laughs> it used to come in a little baggy like a little plastic bag <laughs> it's like oh lads you know you have a problem when you're on like a 40 minute flight from Dublin to Manchester and you're like I really need a little vodka baggy <laughs> like are you okay <laughs> 
<laughs> Me uh, there. I, really, I would be probably that person. I really need one, one, one vodka bag, please. Vodka bag. <laughs> I, I actually kind of want to see somebody do a collaboration with Ryanair. <laughs> I just think it would be really weird. <laughs> We make a revolution, lads. You're always looking for the stupidest uh, collaborations. Take the idea and run with it. Um, it's interesting that in this launch, the only thing that is makeup is that eyeshadow palette, and then the rest is that skincare. Like there's that lip salve for twelve dollars, and it looks like there's a little bit of a tint to it. But they're also saying it's like a multi-purpose healing balm, which that's what Vaseline does. You know, like Vaseline is yeah. really good for that. It's like an occlusive. So I'm wondering if they're kind of trying to say it's a fancy occlusive. Now I was looking through the ingredients, and there wasn't anything that was like really jumping out of at me as being like particularly like. Wabam, but they said that there's rose hip, which would be really good for like if you've quite dry skin, because like say yeah. cold pressed rose hip oil, spectacular at this time of the year. I highly recommend it. And then they've cotton seed and jojoba seed oil, so that's pretty okay. So I I don't think it's the worst price for that twelve dollars, but I'll be honest, I'm really bad with things like that, and it'll fall out of my like purse, and I'm probably just as well to keep it a Vaseline. Yeah, yeah, you can tell that I'm not interested in this one. I'm like, yeah. Morning. She's like, I'm done now. We haven't talked about it all, Tia. We have to talk about it all because I'm rigid about things like that. There's there's then the face mist. And I was again looking through that. And like, obviously the very first ingredient was water. And then after that, it's like a couple of different things, but it includes rosemary, which I know people have been using that in their hair and stuff. So I don't know, but it seems expensive. Like it's $22. And then mm-hmm. there's the face cream, which it has shea butter in it and jojoba oil. The shea butter is like a really heavy one. So like it, it's quite a heavy cream. So I guess it's only it might gonna... be good because it's like nomad air. So if you're traveling with it, like on airplanes, your skin gets really dry. dry I think that's it has a of circulating air. Um so I think it's good that these are like very hydrate, like seems like very hydrating products. I, I will say this is where I get a bit negative. The prices though, like that face cream is $49. Yeah. That's expensive. It's very expensive. I, like, I'm all right, lads. I'll stick with the, the couple of products that I have right now. Like, it's it's up there with, like, the Glow Recipe face mask. And I'm like, I'd sooner yeah. have the Glow Recipe because I know exactly what the story is with that. Now, if, like, somebody who's a skincare expert goes through the ingredients and actually says, no, there's this, there's this, there's this, there's this, and it's totally worth the price, then I'll go with them. But I, I personally don't know a lot about these kind of things. So... For me, it's oh, yeah, 100 mils of product. That's quite a bit. It is. So. Which, I, and now don't get me wrong, because I haven't traveled in a while, but what is it not 50 mils that you're meant to travel with? Or is it just, I think it's 100 mils. Might be. Can't, I can't really remember. It would be quite funny if they put it's, too much. Yeah. Because then, like, obviously, you could put it on your car, not, not your carry on, like the check bag. Yeah. But on your carry on, you have to, like, have products under different, under cer- certain millimeters. But I can't remember, was it yeah. 100 or? I can't either. Uh, I'm clearly not a jet setter. But, um, yeah, I, I get this. This makes sense from them when you look at their brand and that they're so into, like, travel yeah. and stuff and, like, they're kind of bringing it back to those old school days of like when you'd get on the plane, they'd have like Pan Am back in the day would give you like a cloth and like a shaving kit and like brushes and all of these things. So I think they're kind of bringing it back to like when travel was a luxury and not yeah. when travel uh, involved kind of having a crying child in front of you on a flight for three hours. So I'm I'm kind of here for for them kind of reclaiming that aesthetic. It's not personally for me, but you know, not everything has to be. When I put it to you guys, 5% loved the face mist, 25% loved the eyeshadow palette, then 20% loved the lip salve, and when it came to the face cream, 12% of you loved that. And then this is now no longer a leak. It's now properly official. It has happened. So Natasha Denona has said, "Hey, this is part of our holiday collection. It's the Midi Zenon palette. We don't have 
have any swatches as I'm currently filming, but if I've managed to get some in the interim, you'll probably be seeing them right now. It's launching October 23rd, so pretty darn soon, and it's going to be $69, but it's limited edition. Of course it is. Yeah. Thanks. Their last couple of like really interesting stuff, which was like the mini triochrome, and now this has been limited edition. And I'm like, Natasha, baby, baby doll. Why are you doing me? We don't need limited edition stuff. It's foolish. I will say, now that I see this picture that bit more clearly, because we were dealing with like super yeah. black pictures. Oh, I like this. I, like I really it. like it. I feel like it looks pretty light. Like, I yeah. feel like there's maybe like one darker shade, like matte darker. Like, I feel like all the matte shades are lighter than all the shimmer ones. But you know why they did that? Because what? the mini Xenon. Oh, yeah. Oh, I kind of get it, but I kind of hate it also. Because then you would have to have the other palette. Like, I know, well, don't have to have, obviously, you could use any other palette with it. But kind of like, I kind of wish it had a little, a couple more darker mattes. But my mind can change after I've seen swatches. Because yeah. sometimes these pictures can be taken in a really, like, studio light. And the colors look lighter than they actually look on the skin. Very true. Very, very, very true. Um, I want it. I want it. Rich is going to bite. Yeah, I have the, the mini Zen on. Um, so it needs its big sister in the house uh because it's been acting up i am an affiliate with natasha denona i know how disgusting i'm going to promote myself now if you do want to buy via natasha denona you can use my code it'll get you 15 percent off which isn't bad so that would save you uh, a little over uh ten dollars so you could get it yeah. for 59 dollars <laughs> that's not bad but at the same time don't buy something if you don't need it you know I really like this. I'm looking forward to smashing this all over my face and pretending that I'm cool and like, you know, ethereal and interesting. I'm glad now that we've got like a proper picture of it. Yeah. I want to see the swatches though. Yeah. I I feel like this is going to make a Swatching Sundays video. Yeah. It's going it's gonna to have to be. Yeah. I've kind of gotten to the point now where I'm looking over at my, uh, my makeup shelf and... The Natasha Denona section is is it's getting there. <laughs> like it's getting thick. Oh, she thick. She thick. <laughs> she's really starting to take over. Um, like she's like shoving out the rest of the palettes. She's like, no, fuck you. This is my shelf. And I'm like, lads, we can all merge together. I think the most that I have is like, I'm looking over there, like the mini palettes. I have a lot of their mini palettes, so. In for a penny, in for a pound. I want this. And particularly because it's limited edition, I am the idiot. Look at me. I am the idiot who gets FOMO. And I'm like, oh no, but if I don't get it now, I'll never get it. And then I'll have missed out. Are you going to get the mini blue one? The mini tri trio chrome at the same time? Oh, baby doll. I've already ordered it. Oh, she's already ordered it. I ordered that the day that came out. I'm waiting for it to come along with the little mini. <laughs> they had like a mini bronze one as well that I was like, oh, look, it's so tiny. Because the little mini ones, they have a three pound one and it's fucking tiny. And it's so cute. And I like to just take it out and kind of go, da 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 da. Like baby. Yeah. It's like, I like to sometimes, you know, when I'm doing my makeup, I'll have my makeup out and Cece, because, you know, she's like constantly glued to me. She wants to be sitting next to something. So I like putting one of the little mini palettes in front of her because it looks like she's doing her makeup. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> this is what happens when an autistic has money and spare time. <laughs> my cat needs a palette too. So I bought it. I'm like, the thing is, bronze isn't going to show up. Any any brands cc is like a high-end bitch oh so she's it has to be in a session to know now or something oh, yeah. like that oh, dior darling dior darling she's not a very fancy <laughs> i don't even look at those brands that doesn't cost an arm and a leg oh no she doesn't give a shit she's like oh no it's beneath me it is trash um yeah, I, I am excited about this. I knew I was going to get it when I saw the leak. And now that I'm seeing kind of clearer pictures, I can see a lot of possibilities with this. I love that they have that kind of pinky shade in there. I think pink with greys is just like... Yeah, they go really well together. 
Yeah, I like this. I'm very excited. When I put it to you guys, 39% of you loved it and 33% said that it depends on the swatches, which honestly I would agree with. Like if you're in any way on the fence, wait, check to see what the swatches are. There's absolutely no rush. It is. It's not like it's an inexpensive palette like Beauty Bay where we're like, oh, we have no swatches. We can't get decent swatches. Wait, people will do good swatches and you'll be able to see what the story is. Be smart. Don't be like me. Oh my God, this one has me so confused. So Madonna, Mm -hmm. the singer, the legend, the icon has over on her website because she's doing tours, etc. Apparently she has done some makeup with uh, Jared Blandino from formerly Too Faced, now Polite Society. But it's not with his brand, Polite Society. It's literally said on the website that this is her collaboration with Jared Blandino, who I much prefer to call bland I know because frankly it fits and this is the most cheap tacky ridiculous looking overpriced collection that I have seen in a long time what Claire's accessories primer inducing two-faced reject is this because that's what it looks like all of this looks like stuff that was like the markup or mock-ups of two-faced shit that got rejected and they went no that looks too tacky too childish ridiculous do you want to know what the prices of these things are because it'll blow your mind the the uh, Mm. the highlighter where's the party on stage highlighter 45 dollars the like a virgin plumping lip gloss which weird thing to kind of link it with 30 dollars then there's the blonde ambition matte lipstick in iconic red for 30 dollars this is so weird it's terrible they don't even look nice like I will give them that like the um, highlighter seems to be a gel powder yeah. hyper gel powder formula those are usually really nice um, but I'm just like what how does the, these two people like link are they like friends what's going on <laughs> How did this happen? Like, yeah, it's the I'm most like so confused. It's very strange. Can I just say though, you know, you were saying about the the highlighter it kind of makes sense in the sense of like it's a gel highlighter. I agree. I wouldn't pay forty five dollars for it. Can I talk about the fucking embossing on it? What the fuck is that meant to be? It looks like it's an anime character. Oh yeah, it does. Who's that meant it's to be? Like an anime character. What is going on? What's I hate the packaging on everything on these, like those crosses with M and like the Madonna. It looks very cheap it's just <laughs> genuinely like i and i have no creative skills we we know this about me i could make something prettier than this yeah me too this is like a 14 year old art project that got a c at- what is that cross are you getting is that cross something you're getting like a necklace it says like a virgin plant oh god i think it's just it just, the- sounds, it just sounds very like yeah but i guess the name should be expected from like two-faced lady balls lipsticks and all it's funny because like you know he has these like interesting names and yet the products don't live up to it yeah so you're like uh okay it just seems to be that that cross is the packaging and i get why there's that cross because you know she used a lot of that imagery in like her 80s videos etc but this is stupid That's and true. also you know this is from jared bland i know who had two-faced sold two-faced now has his own brand, Polite Society, and he's doing stuff like that plumping lip gloss, which was what his brand was known for for a very long yeah. time, was the lip injection. So I'm like, oh, have you, what, are you trying to say that this is a better formula than what you had? Because actually I could technically get a lip injection, which why would I want to do that? They're horrible and they hurt and I, I don't like pain, Um, for like $27. Three dollars cheaper. Mm-hmm. Even the lipstick, mm-hmm. and I love a red lipstick. It looks tacky as fuck. It looks like I ordered it off of maybe Wish or Alibaba or any one of them, like Amazon, that I just kind of found a random seller there. And it, I like even the M, the the the, the way the M is done. It, it there's no graphic design to it. Yeah. It, I actually genuinely, I'm kind of shocked that Madonna okayed this and that. She she has like this isn't just like you know how like sometimes brands chance their arms and they're like we're doing a collab and it's not actually a collaboration we've seen brands do that before this is on madonna's own website she herself is selling this nonsense it feels very cash grab esque <sighs> 
I don't know. It's it's very strange to me. I don't like it. And it's honestly given me a headache. I haven't subjected you guys to pictures of this yet because I only found this out today. But I'm going to show you the stats now as to what you think. And I swear to God, if anyone liked this, I will haunt you in your dreams. That's, that's all I can say. And this one, this is LYS Beauty. And I gotta say, I quite like this. These are little holiday gift sets. So there's a three-piece higher standard satin matte cream blush set for $22. So you get these three really cute little shades. There's like a, a corally shade. There's a pinky sort of satiny shade. And then there's like a purple. And they look so good, like for $22. That is not bad at all. And I've heard really good things about their like cream based formula so yeah, I think, like the green like the bronzer is sick yeah so I feel like this could be a really great way to introduce yourself to the brand they also yeah. have a brush set which ugh, I don't like it's $42 and it how do I say it nicely looks tacky as fuck the handles yeah ugliest thing I don't like this at all I actually can't even focus on what the brushes themselves look like because I'm so distracted by the handles yeah even the shapes of the brushes aren't that interesting no i wouldn't pay 45 dollars for it for sure like that's way too expensive but then they have the speak love three-piece matte liquid lipstick set for 29 dollars. i like that one i think that's actually quite nice i like the kind of differences of shades here that they've a uh, deep all the way through to like a light yeah. in that three-piece you know that's me cool. i'm looking at that whiny shade that magenta shade oh also that middle one like that warm like color looks really nice yeah i mean it, it's pretty like when you think about it that's 29 dollars. so you're paying like 9 dollars 67 per liquid lipstick that isn't bad at all yeah that's but, actually really good yeah I mean, really good yeah could i dupe these out with stuff from my collection yes i could but that's because i'm ridiculous i think this is very smart though for a holiday gift set i like these are very i don't say safe shades but they're nice shades to give to somebody as a yeah. gift because you have like your i'm a sassy little vixen and then you have your like everyday shades then as well which i think very very smart and 29 dollars that's it's not bad really. it's like it, really good lipstick. if that was under my christmas tree i wouldn't be upset about it at all and then yeah. the last thing that they have is this speak love two-piece lip treatment oil and moisture and it has like a matte lipstick set which is 19 dollars. and they've kind of shown how it looks on the lips when you're just using say the lipstick just by itself and then the lipstick plus the gloss i love that they've said lipstick plus gloss where they're saying like but it's a lip oil and I'm like yes lads because lip oil is a gloss an overpriced gloss thank you very much yes. <laughs> that one I'm not as whatever about I think it does look nice but when that's $19 versus the three liquid lipsticks that I could get for $29 I do like the total yeah. of that one though it is pretty yeah it's not, pretty it's not bad at all like I think like even say the those cream blushes are very very pretty shades I think they picked yeah. out some, some really really nice ones they picked out the shades that are very like relevant right now you know pinks are really in purples are really in so like that's yeah. a smart little yeah. set for them chills again it's so cold in here I'm like getting chills and like Ooh. my nose and everything please <laughs> Yeah, and I'm just a sniffly mess because I was out in the rain for like an hour today changing a fucking tire. <laughs> <laughs> so I do not feel good, lads. I do not feel good. Um, yeah, I, I think this is actually, it's quite a good holiday set. Uh, there's definitely some bits that yeah. are better than others. I would personally fling those brushes away. They look terrible, but the rest does not offend me even yeah, that's okay it's the least offensive I think holiday set that I've seen so far because it's the price point is good you actually yeah. have some products that people quite like and will get a lot of use out of I think it's 
actually very very smart I don't know what you guys think yet but I'll have shown the stats here I think particularly for me those cream blushes and the liquid lipsticks those are the ones that I find quite interesting then Nabla Cosmetics released this today it's their side by side nude palette baby it's only a baby and it's 34 euro so it's kind of keeping along with those neutral themes that we have seen so far there's almost like a pinky element to it but there's like a warmth in the browns I do appreciate that they have a black in there I do like yes. it I, I feel like we don't hear as much from Nabla these days they did their spring was it a spring collection a while ago it felt and it felt like a really weird oh no it was their September <laughs> collection and they had like some really nice like multi-chromes and stuff in it but it was all like single oh, yeah. yeah and they had like blush sets and stuff but it feels like I haven't seen them do an actual palette in a really long yeah. time I mean it's it's okay it's not like the tones aren't the ones I will go for mm. I know like I like some of them but I don't like the like pinky yeah aspect. I feel like I would love to see like more of those like that like a new neutral brown that like metal neutral brown looks really pretty like more of those tones. oh yeah there's like a, a sandiness almost to it yeah it, yeah it's very pretty yeah I, I would use that sort of a brown and like a very grungy look because if you put that out towards the edges and, and blurred it in with a green it would give you a really yeah. interesting effect yeah I like there's shades in this that I do like I think this is very very safe for them but yeah this time but I think they have done like a, have they done like a neutral neutral palette they have yeah they have a bigger oh yeah they have that mm. yeah I think it's a 16 pan eyeshadow palette if I remember oh, yeah. yeah they do have that yeah I can see them coming out with new stuff I'm not wildly excited about this and just yeah yeah I'm it's in special but it's nice to see them coming out with new stuff yeah, I think it makes a huge amount of sense because all of the releases that we're going to see from now until, uh, I'm going to call maybe the second week of December, maybe first week of December, it's going to be very safe, very neutral, maybe yeah. like sparkle, maybe some smoky eye stuff. But from here until then, that's what it's going to be because it's coming up to Christmas, people are getting gifts. When in doubt, you know that people will be okay with a neutral eyeshadow palette. I think that's from a business point of view, I totally get where they're coming from with that. Yeah. Glad to see them doing their eyeshadow palettes again. Because I, I will say though, I've I've seen those sort of singles that they're coming out with, and I'm like, lads put some of those together in a palette. Like, how's this yeah. kind of built for us? Because I would wear the hit out of those. They look really, really interesting. I do think this is nice, but I feel like I have shades like this in my collection. Like, if I go to my lowest yeah. cosmetics, Rose Metals, I have a lot of shades like this. And then that, you know, that brownie shade that you were talking about, I have a shade like that in the Meet Me in the Underworld. Yeah. So... It's it's grand, but it's it's not for me. But I think it makes sense for them. I personally wouldn't pay thirty four euro for that. Yeah, me neither. That's that's I just a bit me. overpriced. Hmm. I mean, I'm gonna say it as well. You know, you can get those nine pan palettes with Beauty Bay for like eight or nine euro. If this was like twenty four euros, yeah. I would be like, okay, then but. 34 is a bit high. Tis a bit, tis a bit steep. But I do like Nabla and any of the like little cutie palettes that I have from them. I think they need to do more of those, those little six pan palettes. Because they are adorable. They did some really nice blue ones. Some uh, really fabulous like brownie neutral ones. Some coral ones. Some silvery ones. I, I think they had more room to go with that. And they, they kind of took that idea and then ran with it. And then just kind of left it somewhere. <laughs> so I'm like, yeah. pick it back up and keep going. Um, I think their issue at the moment seems to be too many ideas, but not enough time to kind of fulfill them. And I don't know what the story is now, but they don't seem to be selling any of their newer stuff on Beauty Bay. So I don't know if that relationship is gone. So if you want any of this new stuff, you do have to get it through Nabla Cosmetics themselves. So yeah. 
keep that in mind. Anyways, it's not for me and that's totally fine. But I don't know what you guys think yet because it's been a slow week and I've literally just been looking for things today to include. Now we have Be Perfect who has done a collaboration with Louise McDonald. Uh, this is not the first time that they've done a collaboration. I believe this may be the second or third time. I know they had a liquid lip together at least. This is the Masterpiece Face and Eye Palette. It's available now for €39.95. It is apparently limited edition. You know my feelings on limited edition. I think that's silly. But it's a double layered palette featuring four multi-use face powders and 12 eyeshadows including wearable neutrals, dark smoky shades and beautiful foiled shimmers. This is what they're saying anyways. Yeah. I mean the, the palette itself we've said it before it's very safe neutral like some kind of like berry tones in there but I, I think are mm, quite nice do like that the face palette then I mean you know my feelings as soon as you start uh, incorporating face palettes to things like this you are cutting off a big chunk of a demographic that might yeah. want this otherwise and yes maybe some demographic will convince themselves that I'll use this one as an eyeshadow look at me look at me oh, you, you know that you will you know that you will deep down in the very depths of your soul you know and you understand that you are never going to use these as eyeshadows you've just convinced yourself I mean, if you have, have as many eyeshadow palettes as me or even like Teresa or anything in between of that like I don't think you would ever reach for those as like eyeshadows the thing is like the shades of the, the blushes bronzers are themselves quite nice and they could have so easily done this we've seen this with indie brands before they could have had two or three versions of this of like for lighter skin tones for medium skin tones and for deeper skin tones and they could have taken the same shades but just like increase the saturation instead of having that like kind of peachy shade have it be a very light peach for those who are very very light or have it like be a beautiful orange for those who have a deeper skin tone literally that's all they really had to do was just change around a couple of things I don't think it would have like been a massive thing the eyeshadows themselves again like the first row very I mean, it, to be fair, it is a white woman who has come up with this, so it makes sense she's gone for tones that are going to work well on her. But I think that coupled with the face palette kind of goes, oh God, this excludes a whole demographic. Because for a chunk of people, the only thing that would be usable for them would be the, the two bottom rows, which I think is, like, yes, it's not expensive. It's €39.95. And we know that Be Perfect do some very, very good formulas. If you like this, you'll probably enjoy it. But I think they've inadvertently kind of shot themselves in the foot by making it so um kind of like exclusive to to a particular demographic and maybe that's why they've made it limited edition you know yeah maybe possibly they they look nice though when you look at the swatches like the yeah i like the bottom row of the eyeshadow palette there's some like pretty foils in there it, you know they could look really pretty on the inner corner of the eye the yeah. swatches of the face palette that's beautiful the shade peachin gorgeous I really like that I'd use Biscoff as like um a bronzer for myself but it's really interesting because when you look at it then in the in the picture versus the swatches Biscoff looks like it's the same shade as Chalk Whip but they don't seem to be the same shade at all when they're swatched so shows the power the of swatches yeah yeah in the lighting how it's photograph yeah it's not it's not a bad one but like it's not the strongest thing that we've seen from be perfect not yeah i kind of wish they would have done like the palette separate and then the blush yeah. bronzer palette separate like make people could then choose if they want it or not i agree i don't know why they're wanting to like insist on smashing things together like i don't know it's stressing why me out or smashing things together that aren't supposed to be together. This, now I remember what I was going to say, because now, like, this would be for me when I'm like, how do I store this? Because my eyeshadows are here and my blushes are here. It can't be two places yeah. at the same time. So, so if I put it my everything. blushes and bronzers, then I would forget to use the palette. If I would use the eyeshadow palette, if I would put them with my eyeshadow palettes, then I would forget to use the face palette and it's just like it's a, too confusing to me i i, I agree because i'm i'm the same with organization the way that i have done my room is i have all of my eyeshadow palettes over here 
I have my blushes here. I have my highlighters here. I have my bronzers here. And then I have face palettes over there. Like I don't even put the face palettes in where the, the, the single blushes, etc., are because I'm like, no, no, that's too confusing because sometimes face palettes have like a blush and a bronzer in it. And I'm like, oh no, you have your own section. Off you pop, you go over there. But like, I'd have to make a whole new section for that one palette of, yeah. you're a weird type. have a whole new section for things that don't make sense to me. me. But I need to read them, so I use it. So, But no, because I'd be the same. And I've, I'm really weirdly proud of the way that I've organized things. Because I'm like, ah, oh, it looks like I have my shit together. Because I, I vaguely put things into like places that kind of make sense. And then if I had that, I think I'd just end up just leaving it out on a shelf somewhere and just not know what to do with it. Yeah. The, the product itself isn't bad. I just think it's not a good idea to combine a face and an eye palette. Like when there's not that many people who are into it and there are some people who love these sort of things, you know, particularly those, and it's usually the people who are like, I'm going to pan this. And you know, do you know what lads? Fair play. I admire you. I think you are a, a much better person than me because I'm not good at panning. Um, but for the majority of us, <laughs> currently who are watching it's probably not for us and that's okay we can be okay with it and I know there are people out there who are like massive be perfect collectors etc I'd love to yeah. know what you guys think are you gonna get this yeah. or are you gonna miss out I'm I'm nosy I haven't put it to you guys yet but I will display the stats now and then the very last thing we're, we're, we're having a nice palette cleanse because I think this is gorgeous oh. I don't care what anyone else thinks because I think this is beautiful this is Bella Beauté Bar and these are their new handmade singles uh, we have the shades Witch Bitch Hollow Digital Zombie Hollow Witch's Brew Pumpkin Hollow Resting Witch Face and Black Magic Hollow and by the way the pictures that you're seeing of swatches are from Ellie star makeup I'm gonna obviously have her credited down below myself and Tia were actually talking about Ellie star just the other day and we were saying that we well I was suggesting that um Tia should maybe just block her um because it's really a good idea to block anybody whose talent you're threatened by uh, it's a really healthy move uh psychologically so yeah. that's the advice that I've given to Tia <laughs> Yeah, I need to go block some people after this. Everyone who's too beautiful and too talented, I'm like, no, no, Get no, down. no. Only ugly people left on my Instagram then. That's why I'm friends. That's my function. <laughs> <laughs> I look, this is one of those instances where I'm like, you can really see the brands are doing great for uh, sending PR out like this to people like Ellie. I mean, she has done such a great job showcasing it. Like, look at how gorgeous they are so two end shades like the darker ones oh yes they're on both ends those two are like mm, so pretty they're fabulous I cannot... look at the sparkle in them like all the different colors of glitters oh my gosh this is so be... like bella beauty bar why is everything you make so goddamn beautiful genuinely like i feel like you should get banned <laughs> I will say I'm so annoyed at them because like um I have just been finding myself more and more drawn to their products over the last I want to say year or two years and I only have two products from them I, I got a palette from them recently but it's difficult to get them here because the shipping is expensive but the the glitter goblin in me uh the sparkly hoe is kind of just sitting here kind of going oh but this all looks so beautiful and I want it all nom 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 and um yeah I'm definitely blocking Ellie Starr uh, for her talent because uh, how dare she? She's showcased this so, so well. And let's be real, like taking pictures like this is like very, very difficult. I commend her for managing to capture some of the, yeah. the sparkle and the shifts in these. Honestly, like there's definitely ones here that I love more than others, but I I would happily accept all of them into my home. I think the bar is on Monolith, though. I think so, yes. So maybe it's a good shout of trying to get them there, then. I don't know, I think I, I should just start begging for PR. You know, just be like, hey, yeah. I'm should nobody. Be Hello, Bella Beauty Bar, can we get some PR? And that even rhymed! 
I feel like we deserved our PR with that. We, did. we really worked for it right there. I mean, yeah. uh, Bella B. Bar, you can see I'm such a big influencer. I'm, I'm a really big deal over here. Uh, yeah. If you can't tell, lads, this is sheer sarcasm. Yeah. I am not. I wouldn't expect <laughs> PR in a million years. But I think I think these are beautiful. And like this thing so is fun. the only th- negative thing I have to say is that they are singles. And I know, I know me, and I know if I got the singles, I take them out every so often and go, Oh, you're so beautiful. You're so pretty. Yeah. And I forget about them. Yeah, me too. I'm the same. I forget about my singles, but Maybe if I had this beautiful singles, I'd be like, oh, no, no, no. This time it's different. <laughs> this time it's different because these are beautiful. This time I'm going to have a, a healthy relationship with my singles. Yes, I will. Yes, I will. Um, I I really want them uh, to do like a palette with these interesting shades. They don't need to put any mattes in. Don't get me wrong. I think their mattes are great. However... If you're doing this, and if you have interesting shades like this, just do those. Put those forward. You know, slide them forward. Give them to me. Just give them to me, essentially, is is the main message of what it is that I'm trying to communicate right now. I think this is stunning. And for me, um, out of pretty much everything that we've looked at this week, this is yeah. this is the thing. This is the one for me. Yeah, I don't know what you guys think yet. I have yet to put it to you guys. But personally, this is the high point of my week. And uh, it's my anniversary as you're watching this, lads. Uh, It's my one year anniversary. It's, well, it'll be up on Saturday. Which Oh, I thought it was today. I was like, what? (laughs) You've just told me it was on the weekend. (laughs) So confused. My anniversary I'm sitting down and filming with Tia no no um as you're watching this it is my anniversary with uh Sahil and frankly if I had these shadows I would just cover my entire body with them uh in a way to say happy anniversary love of my life <laughs> confused but I think honestly I think go with it Honestly, he kind of knows me enough now that he just doesn't really question that much of what it is that I do, that he's like, oh, okay, yes, this this all vaguely makes sense. Um, but anyways, my gorgeous friends, uh, that that is it. That is the end of this episode. But I do have my favourite comment, and this is from the fabulous Janet, who said, I really enjoy extra sassy tea. Yeah. It comes out every once in a while. I love it. I love it. And actually, I want to do a little addendum because last week, my favourite comment was Rhea, who said that she had her new game. Rhea, I'm checking in. How did you get on in the game this week? Did you did you get them all right? Did you guess which ones I want? <laughs> and which ones I bought and which ones I haven't bought? <laughs> so I'll be checking every week to see how you're doing. Like a big it's a really <laughs> Ray. I don't know, lads. I, I'm in a very strange mood. But thank you so much for watching. You know it is super, super appreciated. I have all of the details down below as to how to follow Tia if for whatever reason you're not doing that. You know the general drill. Do please like, comment and subscribe. All of those things make a massive, massive difference because the more you comment, the more YouTube basically kind of goes, this is a video worth making other people watch because YouTube likes to like strap other people to chairs and make them watch videos. That's what I assume actually happens. Uh, But other than that... Do please share because sharing is caring, except of course for STDs, in which case, wrap it up. Don't be gross, but that's it. That's the end of the video and we will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.